What do we got going on right now here across the Carolinas? It's a beautiful, albeit still dark morning here in Uptown. It's a cold start too. Temperatures right now as you're walking out the door. Back down below the freezing mark. You need to bundle up here early on your Saturday morning. 30 degrees, winds out of the north and west at 5 miles an hour. It's all though about the nor'easter that's on the way for your Sunday. A powerful storm system is going to be taking shape as we go throughout the rest of today and heading into Sunday, and it's going to make its way up the eastern seaboard here. So right now, current conditions, satellite and radar, looking good here across the Carolinas. Zoom out, though, you can see some of the players making their way onto the field, so to speak. We'll keep it with the sports references here. Watching this frontal boundary right here, this is sort of the gasoline for the spark, this developing area, low pressure right now currently over the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And these two are going to come together, merge, and become one heck of a storm system for portions of the southeast and heading up into the mid-Atlantic. We had more cold air in place. We could be talking about a major winter storm, but we have no real cold air in place. It is cold this morning, but not that true fresh Arctic high that we would need for significant winter weather. So if you don't like snow and ice, you can thank me for that. We are concerned, though, about the potential for some Localized flooding, especially across the eastern half of both North and South Carolina as we go through your Sunday because of the significant rainfall that we're expecting. So let's go through future casts and talk about your weekend. 730 this morning again, we're going to see a little bit of cloud cover. Not all that bad, though. Later on in the morning, though, we start to see the clouds increase here across the Carolinas, and that's a trend that's going to continue as we head throughout the afternoon hours on your Saturday. Most importantly, though, we are going to stay dry here in Charlotte and across the Carolinas in general. The clouds continue to thicken this evening, but no wet weather just yet. That changes, though, as we head into the overnight hours. Get to about midnight here on your Sunday, starting to see the showers begin to move on in. By 445, really starting to see the rain move in across the Carolinas. 8 a.m., the moderate to heavy rainfall pushing through the region. Noon here on your Sunday, it is Raining cats and dogs for many of us, especially outside of the mountains. We get down towards Charlotte and points off to the south and east. One thing our in-house future cast model has been talking about here, maybe a bit of a cutoff with the rainfall as we look up towards the foothills and mountains here. That's going to be crucial for rainfall totals, but still nonetheless here in Charlotte, 8 o'clock on your Sunday night. We still got the moderate to heavy rainfall continuing until about midnight, and then it finally starts to clear on out and we begin to dry out across the Carolinas. How much rainfall are we talking about here? Probably about an inch and a half, upwards of three inches is going to be possible. But again, not quite as bad here up in the mountains. Still going to be a dreary day, but the flood potential is going to be noticeably less compared to Charlotte and points off to the south and east. As for your Panthers forecast, it goes without saying. I highly recommend you watch this game on TV. We got temperatures in the low 50s. A lot of rainfall on the way. It is not going to be fun to be out in, but going to be fine today if you're going to be out in the elements here. Upper 50s, increasing clouds, but we do stay dry temperatures over the next 12 hours. Again, we're going to make a run at the 60 degree mark this afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow. It again, going to be a cooler day, but overall temperatures are low to mid 50s out there across the Carolinas here. And then looking ahead here to your pinpoint five day and seven day forecast pinpoint weather alert day on your Sunday. But then from there, well, a lot of sunshine, cool temperatures, I will say. But overall for the week of Christmas, not looking too bad here across the Carolinas.